it's, it's incredible to do anything like hands-free, uh, getting a hold of a hockey stick, throw a football. This is the kind of step that could change everything. Not just the way we think about recovery, but for how some people live with injury. This is called ExoMotion, a robotic exoskeleton used here at Synaptic Neuro Rehabilitation Center in Calgary. It's the first of its kind to be used clinically anywhere in the world. And for some people who use it, the impact goes far beyond movement. When I was 18 years old and I had my spinal cord injury, I didn't know if I was going to be independent or be able to live on my own. But uh, over the years, as I've learned from a lot of mistakes and, and a lot of the technology coming out, I've realized that I will have an independent life. And uh, science and technology is advancing every day to the point where I might walk again on my own someday. Former Humboldt Bronco player and founder of Straz Strong, Ryan Strasnitsky, who was paralyzed from the chest down after a bus crash in 2018, showed us how it worked, even stick handling, passing, and throwing around a football. I gotta learn how to, how to two-step in this thing, so um, someone, someone here's gonna teach me and yeah, maybe I'll bring it to Stampede, who knows. The co-founder of Synaptics says, for some who will use the exoskeleton, it may be their first time standing in years without the support of another person. For most of us, we get out of bed and we don't think that that is difficult. For some of our people here, it, this is the first time since injury. It could be seven years, it could be 10 years. So for them to be able to stand up hands-free, move about and control that movement, it's, it's the emotional health and wealth in that is astounding. Right now, the exoskeletons will be used in clinics, but the founders say that the ultimate goal is to have them made for personal use as well. In Calgary, Rain Rashid, City News.